The Security and Intelligence Division is the external intelligence agency of Singapore responsible for gathering and analyzing intelligence related to the country's external security. Although it is within the Ministry of Defence, it has a certain independence in that it is not under the control of either of the permanent secretaries of defence. It is also highly secretive as most of its personnel are known only to Singapore's top officials. The CID is led by a director, who holds the rank of permanent secretary and reports directly to the Prime Minister's Office PMO. In the 1970s, the director reported directly to the Defence Minister. The CID had the post of Deputy Director, which was held by Lim Chie Heng in 1975. Topic: History and Activities. The CID shared a similar background to its domestic counterpart, the Internal Security Department (ISD). In the aftermath of 1915 Singapore mutiny, to collect the political intelligence, espionage, and the surveillance of potential subversives, a political intelligence bureau was established in Singapore under direct command and control of Major General Dudley Howard Ridout, General Officer Commanding GOC Singapore, which eventually became the Criminal Intelligence Department Special Branch in 1919. Before 1965, Singapore's primary intelligence agency was the Malaysian Special Branch. After Singapore gained independence in 1965, the Ministry of Interior and Defence was directed to reorganise and consolidate all intelligence capabilities in January 1966. The CID was subsequently established in February 1966, with Tay Seo Hua as its first director. In 1974, S. R. Nathan, who was then the CID director, led a negotiation team to help resolve the Laju hostage crisis. As the CID is a highly secretive organization, information about its activities is only released occasionally to the media. In 2001, Yap Chuan Wei, a reporter from The Straits Times, interviewed a former CID officer on the agency's work. The officer, speaking on condition of anonymity, said that the CID works in three main ways, collection of information, analysis of information, and informal diplomacy. The CID was also mentioned in Lee Kuan Yew's book From Third World to First, The Singapore Story, 1965–2000, in which it is said to have played a role in providing weapons to anti-communist forces in Cambodian civil war in the 1970s. The CID also played a role in rebuilding Singapore's relations with Indonesia after the confrontasi ended in 1966. Tim Huxley wrote a short history of the CID in his book Defending the Lion City, The Armed Forces of Singapore, which was published in 2000. The former CID officer interviewed by Yap said that CID officers rarely receive public awards due to security and political concerns. They are awarded a set of medals equivalent to the National Day medals instead, but their names are not publicized. In 2004, the National Security Coordination Secretariat (NSCS) was set up under the Prime Minister's Office (PMO) to deal with security threats and terrorism. This meant that the CID and the ISD, which previously worked independent of each other, had to share information for the first time. In August 2013, it was alleged that the CID cooperated with the Australian Signals Directorate to tap the undersea fiber optic telecommunications cables that link Asia, Europe, and the Middle East.
Topic: Directors. The following is a list of known directors of the CID. <laughs>